are on 13.6 from the Fundamentals of Chapter 13. That's where it begins to get interesting. We're dealing with, uh, you know, new third law pairs, friction, kinetic or static friction, you know. So whenever we have this problem is, um, you know, determine the acceleration of each block if P equals 6 pounds, right? So right away, you're going to know that it's telling you that... Um, you know, the big block is on a smooth surface. So down here, there's no friction at all, okay? So there's no friction here. So um, let's see, let me bring that up. You know, friction on B is going to be zero. But we're interested in what's what the friction between uh, these two surfaces will be. So first thing I'm going to do is just, I'm going to isolate and draw a free body diagram of the top block. Okay, we have this force P attacking it, right? It, they tell us that um, A, oh, A weighs 20 pounds, right? So we got 20 pounds, okay? This, we're trying to push A off of B, right? So we're going to, you know, the direction of motion is wants to go this way. So where would friction want to do? Well, what would friction want to do, right? It wants to oppose uh, this this motion here. So we know that friction between these two surfaces is going to be, we'll call it A, okay, friction A, right? Well, so stop A from moving, and is that all? If you said, no, that's not all, you're correct. We still have one normal force at, over here as well. And this is a normal force on A done by B, okay? If we draw a free body diagram of block B, okay, we have to recognize that there's going to be a third law pair, okay? And what's that third law pair? Well. And so the normal force done on A by B is going to be the normal force done on B by A. Okay, so remember that. Remember, uh, you know, first semester physics, third law pairs. Okay, remember, third law pair is like, here's a wall, you punch it because you got mad, you lost you know, you're playing God of War in the hardest difficulty, and you're like, ah, these things kept killing me. So you hit the wall. So the wall is going to experience a force um, going the normal on the wall by the fist. And then what's going to happen to the fist, right? It's going to experience a the same equivalent force, just opposite direction, the normal on the fist by the oops by the wall. Okay, so it's just there's this convention, the the subscripts. Okay, so you just remember that. Anyway, so yeah, so NAB is equal to NBA, right? What else do we have between the block B and the bottom surface? There's no friction, so there's no friction here. Right? What do, what do we have? We do have the weight of B. Okay. Um, what else do we have? Um, we have the normal. This one we actually do have. The normal on B by the floor. Okay. And then. How does this block even move then if there's no horizontal forces? Well, if you said FA, you're correct. So FA is another third law pair, okay? So, you know, it's going to be acting on this direction for block B. So it's going to act in the opposite direction for block B. Sorry, for A, it is going to act in the opposite direction for block B, okay? So this is just, you know, this is just drawing the forces and so on. Okay. Anyways, so let's go back to 
um, the first, the you know, block B, oh, sorry, block A, the top block. Let's draw the horizontal forces, or let's figure out what they are. Right, it's third law, I mean, no and second law, right? It's going to be P, right? Minus friction equals, you know, the mass, which is going to be the weight divided by gravity times the acceleration, okay? So we know that the friction, uh, we're going to assume static initially because we don't know if 6, remember the, the diagram for, um, or I guess uh, mu, right? As you increase the force, as you increase the force, you know, here's like mu static, right? And then it kind of drops off, and then it becomes mu kinetic after that, <clears throat> right? So just think back in the previous video, say you push the calculator, or you begin pushing uh, a couch, and so far, you begin pushing it, and you just kind of tap it, you know, you're putting a force on it, but it's not going to move, it's not going to move, right? So think about that. It's not going to move even though you put a force on it, which means the force of friction is much greater than the force that you applied on that couch. All right. So let's see what we get here. We're going to have... And I, I, I'm doing a lot of these concepts because they're going to carry out through the next few, you know, next few chapters and stuff like that. So we have 0.4. So remember, the force of friction is equal to the kinetic friction or static friction times the normal, right? And over here, we have the normal is equal to the weight, right? So this is 8 pounds, okay? So my static friction force on A is 8 pounds. So if you put that in here, right? This becomes minus 2 equals, right? Now ask yourself, does this make sense? I apply force P. This accelerates in the opposite direction. No, it doesn't make sense. And why is that? Because it's not even moving, right? That's why you get some wonky answer. So we know that with 6, with the, with the uh, you know, what's it called? Um, with force P of 6, it's not able to overcome the, f the force of friction between these two blocks up here, okay? So what does that tell you? That um, if we look at this, if we look at this uh, force over here, you know, you're your your system or block A is in static equilibrium so when we use this equation we're actually looking at this f of x is equal to zero right which means that our friction has to be equal to the force P okay right so that's what's happening now we know that this is a third law pair right FA and FB okay so the next thing is gonna be okay let's look at the horizontal forces on block B okay so here we have um, we have FB right equals the mass of so this is like it pretty much is the mass of b but remember that b has something on top of it as well b has um another or uh, it has 20 divided by 32.2 on top of it right slugs whatever that is so te technically up here the mass of 
our system here that we're looking at is going to be 70, right? That's the mass. And then we have um, the acceleration that we're trying to look for, okay? So remember, block A is pretty much stuck on top of block B, okay? So now let's see, we have 6 is equal to 70, whatever this is. So remember, this is like, this is like um, slugs, which I've never really gotten used to it. Like I just, you know, you barely use slugs throughout your whole like undergraduate career or even in graduate school as well. Um, that doesn't, doesn't, you don't comprehend whatever that is. Anyway, so this is the acceleration of B, right? So this is telling us that our, when we do this calculation, we get an acceleration of 2.76 feet per second squared, okay? So this is telling you that the entire system is, the entire system moves at 2.76, okay? Rel so the acceleration of A relative to B is zero, right? But if we look at the entire system together, right? The whole because A is not even moving, the whole system is moving at 2.76, or accelerating at 2.76 feet per, uh, per second squared. And sorry, um, if you look at the entire system, we know A is not moving, um, sliding on top. So yeah, so then the whole system moves at that at that acceleration. Okay. This is a bit tricky. Um, I encourage you to do more problems where you have two or even three different, um, you know, blocks stacked on top of each other, because the main the main thing you have to understand is um, getting all the third law pairs down. Let me get down. Well, come on, dude. My dog just climbed on top of the keyboard. All right, guys. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. Hope this video. Um, you know, cleared up some of the doubts that you guys had, like how, how does the book come, come to that answer? You know, it's better to just understand the actual mechanics and physics behind it than just look at the, the solutions to, to um, you know, just to kind of put something on paper. All right, guys, thanks so much for your time. Um, comment if you have any questions. If you like the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, guys.